path to holiness, that is that you follow Jesus, the Lord, the Christ, you know, our, well, he's not our Savior or Redeemer, I don't believe that, but uh, our Lord, uh, in an exemplary way, you know, sometimes by your works, right, your preaching, or your works for lay people. Uh, and so for centuries, because everybody wanted the local saint. Like one trip I went to Ireland with my brothers and sisters, some of them, and we stayed at a parishioner's house in the, on, on the river, uh, uh, the Shannon River in County Clare. And the name of the church was St. Senan, S-E-N-A-N. And her husband's name was Senan, because he came from that town, Kilrush. And I said, who the hell is St. Kenan? Uh, St. Shannon or Senan? Oh, she said, he was a local monk that lived off the islands, and we canonized him centuries ago. So before we get to this process, the Vatican began, I think, in the 13th or 14th century. I think so little of the whole thing, I haven't studied it enough. But when the person died, you know, the village would rise up and say he was holy, sometimes even at his funeral in the graveyard. Uh, and he became a saint. 